Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, really. I'll explain. What is up, guys and girls? This is Glenn here once again with another Rope Rage video. And in this one, we're going to be looking at a few scientific tricks that we can use to optimize our breathing, boost our stamina, and get more bang for your buck from your workout. Now, warning. This video is gonna go into a lot of detail, so definitely pay attention, because there's gonna be a lot in here. So let's get started on the first of these scientific tricks. The first thing you want to do is shut your mouth. Literally, and no, I don't mean literally in the same way that a whinging, moany, Starbucks drinking, Ray-Ban wearing, social media addicted millennial might say literally. My name is McKenna. Hang on, I'm checking my Snapchat. For some reason, I end everything in this tone of voice. Do you guys want to go to Chipotle? Do you guys want to go to Chick-fil-A? Do you guys want to go to In-N-Out? Do you guys want to go to Five Guys? Wait, I know. Starbucks! I only go to Starbucks and local coffee shops. My parents are paying for my phone. My parents are paying for my car. My parents are paying the consequence for giving birth to me. Oh, I can't right now. I can't even. Literally. I literally can't even. I mean, actually, close your mouth as you're breathing. What we're doing when we do this is we're promoting nasal breathing. We want to build to a point where we can start using diaphragmatic breathing in our workouts. And diaphragmatic breathing is gonna be a key word in this video, but we're gonna put that on the back burner just for now and just focus on how we're inhaling and exhaling. We wanna to build to a point where we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Very few of us do this. I'll be honest, I didn't start doing this until about a year ago. And there's been quite a lot of research done on this. A good book to look into for this is called Breath by James Nestor some pretty crazy stuff in there he actually talks about a college track and field coach and in order to help his athletes to breathe through the nose instead of breathing through the mouth which is a no-no for reasons we're going to get into in just a second what he would do is he'd get all his athletes to take a mouthful of water and make them run their lap with that mouthful they're not allowed to drink the mouthful by the way and you can't spit it out because at the end of that lap coach is going to make you Empty that mouthful into a bucket to make sure you haven't spat it out and you've kept that mouthful in. And the reason to doing this is to promote breathing through the nose instead of breathing through the mouth, which is a bad habit the large, large majority of us have built up. My guess would be that it's probably because of our modern day lifestyle, which involves a lot of sitting down. We sit down in our cars, we sit down at our offices and so on and so forth. This doesn't really work well for breathing deeply. You're gonna breathe a lot more shallow, quick, chesty breaths rather than deep nasal breaths. So, a couple of reasons why you wanna breathe nasally. Number one, breathing in through the nostrils, those little gross hairs in the nostrils actually have a function, which is to humidify the air that's coming in. So if we're breathing in air that's not the right temperature, we're not gonna absorb it as efficiently as we otherwise could. Secondly, those nasty little nose hairs trap particles that might make their way into our system and stop those particles from getting into our breathing circulation. And that air that passes through the nostrils is much better utilized by the body, much better absorbed. You can do more aerobic work with less energy expended. This is why this is a key little trick we can use to boost stamina and therefore boost our fitness and boost our workouts. <music> I've also put my thoughts in the Redefining Rage training handbook on this topic in the section that is titled Section 10, Shut Your Mouth, like literally. Work on breathing fully, deep into the diaphragm rather than the chest. Many of us subconsciously breathe shallow breaths into the chest and this is partly down to the circumstances of modern day living. We sit in our cars, we sit at our desks, we sit and stare at screens for entertainment, etc. Breathing deeply and getting the diaphragm to move up and down relaxes you. A relaxed mind is better for executing jump rope techniques 
and we'll go much more into the effects of mental tension later in this book. Also, when you just shut your mouth, you naturally have to breathe in through the nose. Nasal breathing cleans the air as it enters the body, causes more efficient intake of oxygen and allows you to perform the same amount of work with less energy expended. Remember, the mouth is for eating and eventually, as we humans evolve to communicate better, speaking. The nose is for breathing. So with all due respect, just shut your mouth. Now in that little section there, I mentioned diaphragmatic breathing which is the next trick we're gonna to employ to boost our stamina and take our jump rope training to the next level. But at this point, I wanna ask you guys if you found this helpful so far, just a friendly reminder to hit that like button just down below. And if you are someone who watches the channel but are not yet subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Just hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on so you don't miss another one of these videos. Now moving on to the second point, diaphragmatic breathing. As mentioned before, our sedentary lifestyles mean that we're sat a lot during our day. We're more inclined to breathe into the chest rather than deep into the belly because we're often hunched over, right? That movement is restricted. So what you wanna do now, and you can do this with any fitness activity. Of course, this channel is mainly about how to take your jump rope training to the next level, but I do this when I'm out running. I do this when I'm playing football. And what I have found is that breathing into the diaphragm is very difficult to start with. The reason being is that we haven't used that muscle. The diaphragm is a muscle just underneath the lungs. As we breathe in, you wanna relax. And what this allows is for your lungs to expand. I'm gonna put some images up here to better illustrate. The diaphragm relaxes, which allows the lungs to expand more than they would do if the diaphragm was not relaxed. And what this means is you have a larger surface area for your lungs to absorb that lovely clean air that you've inhaled that is the right temperature because those gross little nostril hairs have done their job. So the air comes in, we have a larger surface area for it to be absorbed through our lungs and this is increasing our aerobic capacity. Very difficult to do at the beginning because we haven't used that muscle but what I did that helped me a lot, I just started to jog and see how long I could go breathing in through the nose alone. After a while, you will start to feel the pressure building up in the lungs because we're not used to this. I'd then switch to in through the nose, out through the mouth breathing. You never want to go fully in through the mouth, out through the mouth, because as well as the points we mentioned before, mouth breathing can also affect your posture. You can see the difference here, not pretty, not sure anybody wants that if we can help it. Sometimes, it's a bit funny, but if I had done a particularly good sprint, I would allow myself a few cheat breaths. So a few big exhales through the mouth and that allowed me to relieve some of the pressure inside. But you never wanna go to a point where you're breathing mainly using your mouth. Use your nose as much as possible. Right, so we're breathing through the nose, not through the mouth, but also, you want to breathe into the diaphragm. This is diaphragmatic breathing. So you don't want to breathe into the chest like this, like a lot of us do. A lot of us do this, we're used to this. You're breathing in quite shallow, but you want to breathe deep. So a lot of us are breathing like this. Up here, we're not circulating a lot of oxygen up here. You want to get lower, so. You're able to breathe a lot deeper that movement up and down of the diaphragm because we haven't been using it a lot it's going to be quite stiff to start with but as we do it a bit more it's going to loosen up and that movement of the diaphragm helps you to relax and you need that when you've got a high speed piece of metal flying around you that might whip you at any moment and you also need to be thinking about all the different techniques you're going to do and it's just much better for your absorption of oxygen much better for your lungs as well so remember breathing in through the nose out through the nose as well if you can if not in through the nose to start with and then we're not breathing into the chest we're breathing down getting the diaphragm moving you can still keep 
your core engaged by the way this doesn't mean you've got to let it all go loose you can keep the core engaged but you want to try and get that diaphragm moving up and down it takes time it takes time but it's well worth it breathing into the diaphragm will help your posture because you naturally need to correct your posture breathing in that way and this is the reason why we don't commonly breathe in this way due to our hunched over posture that's been established by the cars and the chairs and the sofas that we sit in all day long. Now going back to the beginning of the video you'll notice my emphasis was on just shut your mouth immediately after i just done some intense training. Now this is another key element that you want to try and do. Right at the end maybe you've done that hill sprint, you've made it to the top of the hill or you finish that round of boxing or you finish that 10 minutes of skipping that you targeted the temptation is to let it all hang out and just start breathing through the mouth. But I'd encourage you not to do that. Use that as the opportunity to get those nose breaths in. Shut your mouth and get those nose breaths in. It's not going to get any harder than at that point, right? You finished your run. You finished your work. It's only going to get easier as you're in your rest period. Use that. The temptation is to keel over and start panting and using the mouth to breathe but try and maintain your posture as best as you can keep those breaths deep and keep breathing in through the nose all right so start putting that into practice observe how you normally breathe let me know down below if you're more of a mouth breather than a nose breather or if you're a bit of both let me know how you intend to implement this in your training and as you do so feel free to come back here and drop a comment let me know how it goes the first thing you want to do next time you're training See how much of a difference it makes to just shut your mouth and breathe only through the nose. And I'll see you guys in the comments section. That's going to be it for today's video. If you found this helpful, do not just run off to the park to do your training session and work on that nasal breathing just yet. First, hit that like button, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't and turn on the post notifications. It will make me feel like a million bucks and then you can go off and do your training. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. And until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. Okay, what rope should I use? If I had a penny for every time I heard that. Short handles or long handles? A shorter rope is a faster rope. A longer rope gives you more room for error. How can I improve my footwork? The ground is your ally. The feet need to cooperate with the ground. How can I go faster? Why does my rope keep tank? These double unders are killing me. How do I deal with frustration? How can I be more consistent? How can I prevent injuries? What is the point of using nunchucks? What is the magic wand grip? What is the clock face? What is the cowboy method? What is rage?